Hey everyone, what we have here today is an antique Seth Thomas mantle clock. I'm dating the thing probably 1890s, early 1900s. Um, it's tough to say. I went through the book. I've got Tran Lai's book on uh, Seth Thomas movements. It's dated 98. And I know there's a newer one out, but uh, I couldn't find anything in this uh, particular manual. So if anyone can identify the movement, I'd appreciate it. You can just leave it in the comment section below. It's kind of a cool old clock, though. I like the uh, the columns on the side here. It kind of reminds me of Ansonia with a little cherub-like face on it. One thing that's unusual about this clock is it's got all these little dings. They're like little burn marks on it. And it's the same thing on the top here. Let me see if I can show you a little bit better. Right there on the bottom. And then the top has a bunch of them, too. A bunch of little holes, what have you. Makes me kind of suspect that maybe somebody had a candle on this thing or something at one point. Um, I'm not sure because it's all over the top and all over the bottom here. Other than that, the case is in great shape, dial, what have you. It's stamped ST right here. It's got a beautiful gong on it. I was looking at trying to date the thing by the movement. It looks like it's got a movement similar to a number 33. I know it's not it exactly, but uh, I couldn't find the exact movement. It's stamped three and five eighths, I believe, down here on the bottom. Yeah, three and five eighths. And it's got the Seth Thomas mark right there. But the, the movement in the thing's a tank. It's been running like crazy ever since I picked it up, what have you. So that's typical of the old Seth Thomas movements. I really love them. They run forever. They're, like I said, they're tanks. Um, but help us save these old clocks. Make sure you check out our store, vintageclockparts.com.